Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting exponential equation 9 to the power x minus 6 to the power x equal to 4 to the power x. On the first side, this equation is real hard because we have all different bases. We have for sure the same exponent but different bases. So let's try to solve this. The first way to solve this is to divide in both sides by, for example, 9 to the power x, 6 to the power x, or 4 to the power x. So let's, in our case, in my case, I'm going to divide both sides by 4 to the power x. So let's divide this. 9 to the power x over 4 to the power x minus 6 to the power x over 4 to the power x equal to 4 to the power x over 4 to the power x. Just dividing both sides by 4 to the power x. So, what I'm going to do next? I'm going to use an interesting rule. If we have the different bases but same exponent, I can write it in one parenthesis. So, if I'll have a to the power x over b to the power x, I can write it in one parenthesis a over b all raised to the power x. So, let's use this rule right here. So, this is the first rule we need. So, 9 over 4 to the power x minus 6 over 4 to the power x as well equal to 1. We can cancel it, it will be equal to 1. So we have an interesting equation, an interesting exponential equation, so we can simplify this a little bit. So this 6 over 4, I can divide both sides by 2, so I will get, I will have 3 over 2 to the power x equal to 1. So uh, what I'm going to do next? For sure I can express this 9 as 3 square and this 4 as 2 square. So let's do this. I will have 3 square over 4 square raised to the power x. Okay, we can use this rule right here once more because we have different bases but same exponent. So let's do this. 3 over 4 all raised to the second power, all raised to the power x minus 3 over 2 square, sorry, 2 right here, 2 minus 2 to the power x equal to 1. So 3 over 2 right here, 3 over, 3 over 2 right here. So the next rule I'm going to use is the rule of interchange. So I can swap this exponent because if I have x a to the power x, all raised to the power b, I can write it as a to the power b, all raised to the power x. I can swap this exponent, so this is the second rule I need right here. So let's use this rule right here. So we will have 3 over 2 to the power x to the second power, swap this rule, swap this exponent, minus 3 over 2 to the power x and equal to 1. So we have a really good case because we have 3 over 2 to the power x and 3 over 2 to the power x right here. So we can use a substitution. We can write this 3 over 2. Let this 3 over 2 to the power x as, for example, y. So we will have an interesting quadratic equation. y square minus y I will take this one on the left, minus 1 equal to 0. So let's solve this. First of all, I'll calculate the square root. b square minus 4ac equal to, in our case, b square 1, minus, and this minus will be plus, plus 4 equal to square root of 5. And let's find our roots. y first will be equal to 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 and for sure the second root will be equal to 1 minus square root of 5 all over 2. So we have two roots. But these roots cannot be negative because we have this substitution and this well this value never get a minus value. So this root is good for us because we have, have 1 plus square root of 5, it will be plus for sure, over 2 it will be plus 
for sure and right here we will have 1 minus square root of 5 It'll, it will be minus for sure and all over 2 it'll be, it will be minus for sure so we reject this negative value of square root so this root is not good for us so let's solve this equation with this root because this root is not good for us this is good for us so we will have 3 over 2 to the power x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 so how, how can we solve this for sure we can take log from both of the sides so let's do this i write it right here log base of 3 over 2 and log base of 3 over 2 right here on the right so this will be equal to 1 because we know the main log property if we have log a base of a it will be equal to 1 and for sure if we have for example the third root right here this exponent jump right here so this x jump right here as well so we will have x equal to log 3 over 2 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and this is our solution to this equation but we can simplify this a little bit using the log property so let's do this x will be equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and for sure log 3 over 2 in our denominator so we can calculate this for sure with our telephone so this is our solution this is our x and this is one and only solution to this interesting exponential equation so if you have any question and if you have any suggestions write your answer write your suggestion in a comment if you agree with this method or if you disagree write your suggestion in a comment as well and thank you for watching see you in the next videos